Karibu tena. Mali ya thamani isiyojulikana ilitekelezwa hapo jana usiku baada ya moto kuteketeza zaidi ya nyumba 20 katika eneo la kanisani Kayole jijini Nairobi. Hata hivyo walioshuhudia wanasema kuwa huenda moto huo ulisababishwa na itilafu ya nyaya za umeme hivi sasa wenyeji wanaomba msaada kutoka kwa serikali ya kaunti. At around uh, 9 p.m., that's when I was called by my grandson. So, show sure, you come out. There is a lot of fire up there. So I came out. I didn't carry anything, even my, my phone. I just came out. And then when I was, uh, I, I thought about my phone because it has everything. I said, let me go back. When I, I, I was going back, Michael came and pulled me, no. Because it is working, there is a lot of smoke and things like that. So I was taken out. I did not know where my mother was. So I started crying. That's so why I have a horse voice. Chawa wa shirika wangu. Aka nipikia simu. Kanisa mchungaji uko wapi. Nikambia niko kwa nyumba. Kasema kimbia urudi uku ukuche uka nizani. Kuna chomeka. Kamuliza kuna chomeka paandekana. Kasema katikati ya kanisa na, na, na nyumba sa shosho moto umeshika. Niliondoka mbio na mke wangu, nikacha, nikafika hii barabara, nikapata imejaa watu. Yo singeweza kupita, kasabu lengo ilikuwa ni kwamba niche na fungue, ni fungue, angalau tuokoe uh, curtains sa kanisa, pulpit ya kanisa, na vyombo zingine kama mesa, na viti kadha ambaso wazi na lalapa. Lakini kwa sababu, stima hii ilikuwa imekatika, na ikawa inatoa moto ambao uwezi karibia malapale. Kuhimeko afisa mkuu wa tume ya kupambana na ofisadi nchini ESCC Twali Barak leo hii amefika mbele ya kamati ya bunge. Afisa huyo anaojiwa na bunge huku akitakiwa kutoa mstakabali kuhusu vita dhidi ya ufisadi nchini. Tunabochea it is true uh, some of the partitions were done by the ESCC because they are basically the mounted and therefore by including but permanent partitions if there were any were done by the landlord. And therefore by including those partitions in works under these improvements and therefore the valuation itself you were basically going to pay for what had been paid for already by the public. I strongly believe that uh, the partitions that were done by the commission which are the demountable partitions were not and the ones that may have been referred to in the report are the partitions of the space, the permanent partitions, which even if we were to move out in Okay, we shall come back to that. Final question. Did you get uh, the physical, what do you call it, the architectural design or drawings of this building before you undertook, even to do the evaluation, let alone buying it? Yeah. The issue of plans, we have not received them as a commission, but uh, please, again, please speak loud, speak loud. we have not received them, but uh, we also expected the National Land Commission to have uh, engaged in the same as they were doing the evaluation. So as you speak, you are sitting on a property which you acquired using taxpayers' money, against which you have got no idea what the plans look like, the design and so on and so forth. And therefore you cannot actually vouch for its structural integrity. That one is missing. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Members, one of the One question. CEO, there is this report. Let's go back to the inquiry that ESCC did after they heard that there was some malpractice. So there is this report after the one that the director had talked about the one for the the one that was done by ESCC that you have written to 
dated 19th April 2016 to Mr. Tobiko. Are we together? The report done by ESCC or the yeah? Annex 8, yeah. Annex 8, that, that one was 9. Now, this property belonged to, it was charged for a loan at the Deposit Protection Fund, isn't it? And uh, they paid 115 million. Gavana wa Benki Kuu ya Kenya Patrick Njoroge amezungumzia swala la sarafu mpya huku akisisitiza kuwa sheria zote zilifuatwa na pia wananchi kuhusishwa kabla ya kutolewa kwa sarafu hizo. Now there is a question that has come up but governor why did you give them 4 months you're being too generous if uh, why not do it in a month or in a week? And I think that question is valid. The answer is simple. There is a balance that we have to, uh, to, there is a balance that we have to strike. The point is, if you were too aggressive and brought it and closed that too quickly, you'd have, you'd have a very onerous task, or rather you'd put a lot of pressure on the Wanjiko, the common person who is actually doing the right thing and uh, actually has no concerns in terms of illicit flows or counterfeits and things like that.